Hi folks, Advanced Fishing and Outdoor here. I know I did a segment on pipe jigs and how effective they are, especially for lingcod, even for, for halibut. They're um, a great tool to have in the arsenal, uh, especially in early season. It seems like the lingcod are super aggressive and they just can't resist these. So I mentioned one way that you could do it with the wire. There's uh, different ways that it can be done, and I'm, I want to introduce a, another way that I've seen it done. Uh, and that is using uh, cotter pins. Now, you can buy a bag of cotter pins uh, relatively low in cost uh, off of Amazon. And these are stainless steel. And you can buy a, a bag of 100 of them for a very low cost. And these work great because, of course, stainless is going to hold up better. Uh, but what I found that's really nice is to be able to pour the lead with that cotter pin on the inside and it that holds it in place and it just makes a nice clean uh, pipe jig and the thing that's nice about this is some of the guides off the Oregon coast uh, actually will use a pipe jig they won't put a hook on it but they'll use this to put their mooching rig on it so that they can fish for uh, halibut or even link cod with live bait and they effectively use it in place of using a spreader bar and That way they get their weight. They uh, get less hang-ups versus having a, a cannonball or, or a, a cod weight on the bottom So uh, how do we do that? Uh, what, what methods have we found? Well, some guys will drill all the way through uh, I don't like you know the end of the cotter pin sticking out in the back bent over. It's just to me, it's more area for line to get uh, connected or snagged up. Uh, so what I like to do is just drill through the top portion. So for example, right here, I'll go ahead and drill where I have a mark. And what we're going to do is two things. We want to get some of these large swivels. These are two-aught swivels here, stainless. And what I will do is open up this cotter pin, slide this through, and then for the, let's do the top first, the top section that would, you would hook up your line to. What I like to do is bend two bins here and do it parallel. Now you might be saying, why parallel? It's because then when you go in here to push this in, it will put pressure on the outside, or I guess it would be the inside wall here of the, uh, of the pipe, or of the, uh, the, in this case it's three quarter inch copper pipe, and it'll hold it in place. That way when I go to pour it, I don't have to worry about this thing falling down out of the way. Uh, and then with that U shape, that lead will hold it there. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now for the side one, uh, this is what we'll do. And again, I'll put this in the, uh, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's an affiliate link, so I, I do get commissions on it, but uh, it doesn't change the cost that you pay for it. Uh, it just helps me out. Uh, but I'll put those links for, for those co particular cotter pins. Uh, these are two and a half inch package of uh, 100. Uh, now for our center, so we did our top. For our center, what I like to do is on the tall portion of the cotter pin, I'll just put a slight bend in it. Just a slight bend. And why I do that is because when it when it goes in, when I when I start to feed it down here, that bend will kind of U. And so when I go to pour lead, that'll help hold everything in place so that you get a big fish on. It's not going to pull this thing out. Of course, you can use your needle nose pliers here to just push this baby down in here. And then you can put a nice, I should say nice, just a little bend. Okay, there we go. And then that way you've got this here. It's not going to go anywhere. So now when we go to pour it, you'll have your swivels all in place. Now with link cod, we always, always put a swivel down here by the hook. And the reason for it is those fish will do this death spiral. And if you don't have a swivel here, you'll lose a lot of fish because they'll 
use leverage up against the pipe jig or whatever jig you're using. So that's why you always want to have swivels when you're when you're fishing with link cod. Now I want to break in here for just a second. I know some of you are saying that have made these say, well, why don't you just pour it with lead and then you just drill all the way through? You can do that. But the problem with lead is lead soft, and when you go to drill, you have a tendency of your bill your bit sticking and you end up breaking bits off so that's the problem with doing that if you enjoy doing that go for it <laughs> more power to you but if you found a better way some way of making the bit go through well through the lead without having bits breaking off on you definitely post that in the comments love would love to hear from you on some sort of workaround on that but uh, this is really the safer method um, anyway, back to the video. So uh, that's it. Um, I'm going to do the pour on another day, so I'm just going to get these guys ready for my pour. And that's uh, that's about it. And then it'll be ready to, to catch uh, halibut. Now, as far as the weight of these, uh, I will include this also in the link section, a chart that uh, has been passed around on the Internet for a while that actually has what the approximate weight in ounces and pounds for the length of the particular pipe jig that you're making. So that way you have kind of a reference of how many ounces that you want to go for. In the next video, we'll focus on the pouring of the lead with those pipe jigs. So please subscribe so you can get notified when those videos are posted. Hopefully this was helpful and we'll see you out on the water. Take care now.